This is a production of PBS Charlotte. The Carolinas, it really does have it all, especially if you're a nature lover. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. From the beaches on the eastern shore, to the mountains and waterfalls in the west, the Carolinas are surrounded by natural beauty. So just what is it about water that people find so enticing? I just love nature in general and um, how majestic it can be and how calming it can be. Whether it's the crashing waves at the beach or the rushing water in the mountains. I feel renewed. <laughs> There's just something soothing about it all. Yeah, isn't it funny that something like just so powerful can be so relaxing? I'm a hiker. I just love to hike and camp and, and you never run out of places to do that and the waterfalls are amazing amazing really i'm just so i'm so i'm in heaven i don't think i'll ever leave whether it's pisgah national forest dupont state forest or just about anywhere else up in the mountains you're bound to run into a waterfall transylvania county alone has more than 250 of them you know i think it's a, a neat part of nature but there's also something happening something moving uh, that you get to sit and then uh, uh, I think it's really good, you know, folks get here and start watching that and you're not looking at your phone anymore. DuPont State Recreational Forest is considered a working forest with a recreational emphasis, the only one in the state with that designation. And so folks can come, a lot of hiking, uh, folks are visiting waterfalls and other water features in the forest. Uh, we've become very big for mountain biking and horseback riding. There's over 80 miles of trails of various types and, and difficulties, so it makes it a, a good spot for lots of activities like that. DuPont has five named waterfalls that attract people from just about everywhere. The biggest draw is High Falls, which features a drop of 120 feet. Pretty close to vertical. It does slide down a uh, long granitic run, uh, and it's uh, the tallest single waterfall here and, and just a really Great place to visit. Uh, you can get close to the bottom of it and, and get spray up in your face. And when you get close to it, it's so cool. And you get the little mist from it. It's just awesome. It's just awesome, yeah. Another popular spot in DuPont is Bridal Veil Falls. It slides out over a, a gently sloping slab of granite. And so the water tends to spread out as it goes down. Uh, folks think it looks a little bit like a bridal veil. That's one of my favorite waterfalls because you can walk on the side and go up to the top of it. So popular is Bridal Veil that it was even used during scenes of the 2012 movie Hunger Games. So that was in a period when North Carolina had some pretty strong filming incentives in place that were, that were attracting productions into the state and into the area. And by the time they came here, they had something like 150 people uh, on set working and it was pretty interesting to watch. Other movies have utilized DuPont's natural beauty and waterfalls as well. Last of the Mohicans was filmed both there and then here at Hooker Falls as well. And then we've had a few other smaller productions. Uh, the next biggest one was a film called Max. It okay. was about a military dog being adopted by a family. Over at Hooker Falls, people can jump in for a swim, go for a kayak ride, or just take a moment to soak in the beauty, as Marlo Metcalf of Charlotte did on this day. I grew up in Chicago, and it's either you want to go downtown or do you want to go downtown? <laughs> I'm just always so thankful every time I come out here um, to have all this available to me where I live now. Marlo had to be in the Asheville area for work, but decided to come up a day early just to take it all in. And I just wanted to come and sit and chill by the little creeks and by the waterfalls. I just love the peacefulness of this area. Since the state of North Carolina started purchasing the land from the DuPont Corporation in the late 90s, visitors have been flocking to the forest. In the first couple of years, we're estimating maybe 100, 150,000 visitors per year. We may have hit a million a couple of years ago. We've settled down a little bit to maybe 650,000 or that general area per year. I would do this every day if I didn't have to work. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think I'm going to come back tomorrow and go down uh, another trail that I haven't, that I made note of that I haven't been on yet. Whether it's the big waterfalls or just the meandering little streams and rivers with the tiny falls, everyone who comes here to visit realizes just how lucky they are to have all of this so close by. My boyfriend and I were actually talking like, now's the time if we wanted to go live anywhere else, where would we go? And we went through every city in the United States and we decided, no, Charlotte's the place because 
We're two hours to the mountains, we're three hours to the beach. Um, we have all this at our fingertips. The Carolinas, a region with so much natural beauty from end to end, it just keeps on giving.